to my channel. So today I am going to do a car boot sale haul. I've been going to so many over the last couple of weeks so I thought I would just collate everything together which is homeware and sit down and talk you through it all. Right, let's get started. There is quite a lot of ceramics here. I've got quite a few bowls and plates and whatnot, but they are always the things that I look out for when I go to car boot sales, can't help it. So I think I might start with a few of those pieces and then just, just go into everything else that I have as well. <laughs> now all of these things are over several trips. Um, I don't know if I've, have I done one in August? I don't know if I have done one in August. I know I missed a video last week and then I think the one before that was a vintage clothing haul, most of which I had booked up at car boot sales anyway. So this is over the last few weeks or so. Okay, so the first items are two plates. These were bought on separate occasions and I bought the first one and I loved it. And then I saw the second one and I thought, oh, I can't not get that. I just thought they're so, so pretty. Really, really beautifully detailed, really intricate kind of pattern, but so, so colorful. I use these for kind of plants. So when I have a pot plant or anything like that, I always normally pop them on a plate as well, just when I water them so it doesn't then go everywhere. Um, I know that might seem a bit of a waste actually because they are so pretty, but I haven't used them as a plate to put on, I don't know, a sandwich or something. So either I use them for jewelry or as I said, to kind of put a little pot plant on or just kind of more decoration piece because I just think they're so, so pretty. So I got that one and then the other, I don't know, I think I got it like a week or two later, I then spotted this one as well. So it's the same kind of design with a peacock on it, um, but it's just a little bit lighter. I think I might, maybe I prefer this one. I just think it's beautiful. They're almost quite a kind of Chinese, Japanese pattern, aren't they? I just think they're absolutely beautiful, really, really colourful, and I'm not sure on the prices on things like this. I think, I don't think I'd have paid much more than a pound each for them. Um, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. So they're the first things. Okay, so I also, <laughs> I also got a few bowls. Bowls are a bit of a weakness of mine. I love a bowl, <laughs> whether it's a small one or a big one, or I just really love finding bowls. So these two actually are quite similar in colour. So the first one is this really beautiful, kind of pastel green around the outside, and then this really lovely kind of ornate gold gilding around the outside as well, and then just a really pretty little flower in the middle. I use these so much just for, I don't know, putting in potatoes or if we make homemade chips or you know anything like that, salads, things like this are just really really useful especially in summer if you're kind of dining out fresco and you want loads of like individual bowls. I very rarely buy sets, I always kind of just buy lots of little items which don't really match but I just think they look really really sweet together. So I got that one and then this one is quite similar in the colour. I absolutely love this brand. I've got a few other things from them to show you. I think it's Johnson's brother. England and then they're in different colourways but real pastel colours. So this is a really lovely kind of the pastel green in the bowl and then I might as well show you these because I found some plates as well by the same, well not brand, same company but they're just in the different colour so this is, yeah this is, why can't I speak this one? <laughs> Um, these are also Johnson's brother, but these are Rose Dawn, and I just, oh, um, I just think these are beautiful. These I do use as normal plates. I got four of them um, for the pound, maybe, I think. Did I get four for a pound? I think so. But I just think they're so, so pretty. This colour is just gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love with this kind of real pale pink colour. I think he also had some, because I think these are probably not quite side plates either, but I think he had some smaller ones and then maybe some bigger ones and I just thought, oh I'll get that size just because I think that's quite a nice size plate. And now I'm thinking I wish I'd bought all of the others because I just think these are just beautiful. Imagine those at a wedding if you had all those laid out on the table. Just, I love that colour so, so much. I've got those. And I actually thought this was the same make, but it's not. It's just a very, very similar colour. This is, no, this is something else. Grindley England. So that's a slightly different um, kind of design almost as well, but basically the same colour. Um, the same with plates and bowls. I really like kind of finding big, big platter plates as well, because I just think they're quite useful. So I also got that one as well. 
Oh, should we just stay on the uh, on the pink theme? I got, I've only bought one upstairs. I found these two pink plant pots. How cute are these? Um, as I said, I've got two of them. I love finding things like this because I just think, I imagine something like this in H&M Home or, you know, where they'd obviously be a lot more expensive, but I just think they're so pretty. I can't remember how much I paid for both of these now, but um, yeah, I haven't got any plants in them yet because I need, I think they need quite big ones, but I just think they're so, so pretty. So I've also got two of those. Oh, and then I found this really pretty old tin tray just with a really pretty floral print all over it as well. I really like it. <laughs> I really like finding things like this just because you can never have enough trays and um, as I said they're just really inexpensive normally but I just like finding kind of really old style ones like this so I also got that one. Let's do a few vases as well. This vase is probably one of my favourite finds this year. I think it is so so pretty. I absolutely love it and then it's got the little floral print on the inside as well but then the gold kind of all kind of quite messy around the outside and then around the bottom. I mean if I was going to design a vase it probably would look pretty close to that to be honest. If it was going to be a floral one, if it's going to be like a nice kind of pottery style one obviously it'd probably be a nice kind of pale pastel but if I was going to design a floral one with gold it would look pretty close to that to be honest. I think that's absolutely beautiful. So I must buy some really lovely flat. Actually, I think I've got some roses in the garden. Maybe I'll put some roses in this today. Yeah, I think that's gorgeous, don't you? And on the other end of the scale, the kind of more pottery end, I got this really lovely jug vase as well. I don't, I don't think I'd use it as a jug. I think I probably would use it as a vase, but just this really lovely kind of mottled duck egg, kind of blue gray color. Um, and then it's got the peachy, pinky kind of colour inside as well. I just thought that was so pretty and sometimes I really like plain vases. If you've got a really colourful bouquet of flowers I think having a plain vase looks really pretty as well so I've got that one. I've also been finding a few scraps of fabric. You know what I'm like the fabric. I always, I've got so much and I must invest in a sewing machine because otherwise it's just going to get out of control but I've got a few bits of fabric here as well which I spotted. This is gorgeous. There was more of this. I have been using it for various things but um, I've got this little bit left but I thought that was absolutely beautiful. I'd love to find more of this because I think you could make some really lovely seat cushions out of that couldn't you? In a really kind of simple house or in like a really nice kind of farmhouse style kitchen if you just had really kind of nice old pine furniture and then more um, oak furniture and then you just had really colourful seat cushions in that I think that would look lovely and I really like that. Um, various kind of other, as I said I've used quite a lot of it for various things but I've still got a few scraps left. There is dog hair all over this. Um, I think we can tell who the culprit is for that. Oh, this is a nice one. That's very pretty, isn't it? That's very kind of country cottage. I like that one. That's nice. Oh, and then I got this as well. This is a really, really pretty yellow gingham. That's nice. I haven't used that for anything yet. Again, that would look really nice in an old farmhouse kitchen, wouldn't it, as a tablecloth? <laughs> Um, you can never go wrong with gingham, so I also got that one as well. I've only got a few things left to show you actually. I feel, <laughs> I'm always like, right, I must remember to include that, I must remember to include that, and I go around to my house in the morning, I'm like, right, this, and then and I kind of pick everything out, and then inevitably I finish the video and I go downstairs and make a cup of tea or water, and I'm like, oh, 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 and I've forgotten everything to include. But I think I've got the majority of it, I feel like I've just gone through this quite quickly. Alongside the kind of whole plate, thing where I put things on. Um, I also love finding these little kind of china trays. I just think they're so pretty. Again, they're really good for jewellery and um, I don't know, like on a dressing table or, you know, to put your perfumes on. It just kind of, it's just something a bit different, isn't it, to use. And um, I thought that one was really, really pretty. This is really inexpensive. I remember, I think I got it for like 20p or something. Um, but I love finding things like that. I don't always find a use for them, but <laughs> I'll always buy them. This one I didn't buy, but I thought I'd just show you an example. So this is the one I have on my dressing table. It's probably got makeup stains all over it, but I got this years ago. I found this so long ago and it just sits on my dressing table and then I just have like my makeup brushes and, you know, like kind of, I don't know, the foundation I'm using or whatnot and kind of cotton buds and cotton buds and things. But um, yeah, I got that so long ago and I still use it on my dressing table. So that's kind of what I mean with those. I just think they're so useful for putting things on. 
This is a new one that I got as well to kind of I put necklaces and just kind of bracelets that I'm wearing at the minute. It normally sits on top of here. So in the mornings I'm just like, oh, and then it's just my most worn jewellery items. But I just, oh my god, the colour of this. I absolutely love it. Again, that's why I couldn't use it for toast or anything. I just think it looks so much nicer in a bedroom. Um, but yeah, just a really lovely kind of, I mean, it's all a bit faded now, but I think that almost adds to it. And it's got all these cracks, but I just think this is so, so beautiful. I don't know who this is made by, but yeah, I thought that was beautiful, so I'm using that one as well. And then the last two things I wanted to show you, kind of taking it away from the ceramics, because I know there was an awful lot in this video, um, I also always look out for wallpaper, and I know that people must be like, well, what are you going to do with that? But I just think you never know if you have like a really nice little nook or I don't know like a feature wall and you just um, you know you never know you might just have enough on like these kind of empty rolls well not empty rolls but you know obviously not full rolls of wallpaper to use for that or kind of craft projects anything like that and um, so I got this one I thought that's so pretty this reminds me of like a really old kind of Kath Kidson one or inspired Kath Kidson one um, I thought that was absolutely beautiful that might be nice for a craft project actually so I got that one and then this one is my favourite. I think I actually got this in a charity shop, so I'm cheating a little bit, but I got it for 50p. Um, and there is an awful lot on this. It looks almost a full roll. And the lady was kind of a bit like, because I, I think it was in a basket with like an umbrella and something else. And I was saying, you know, how much for this kind of roll? And she was like, well, just the roll. You don't want anything else in the basket. I said, no, 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 just, just the roll. And she was like, but what are you going to do with just the kind of, you know, half a roll of wallpaper? I said, well, I don't no, I said, how much would you like for it? And she was like, 50p. And I thought, oh my God, well, that's ridiculous. It's this really lovely, I can't say the name of it. I know what it is. It's like tool, tool de jour or something, isn't it? It's that really lovely kind of French wallpaper. And it's in the pink. And I just think this is absolutely beautiful. And there's, as I said, there's quite a lot on this roll. So I just thought, you know, you could find somewhere if you had like a, I don't know, a house I said with kind of like little nooks and crannies that you could just hang this in, couldn't you? So I thought well, I'm gonna snap that up because you never know when you might want something like that. But I thought this is absolutely beautiful. I love this print anyway. Um, and I just thought the pink was really, really pretty. So I also got that. So that is everything. They're all the pieces that I wanted to show you. I said quite short and sweet, maybe? I don't know, it might have been a bit of a longer video actually. I said, I know there's loads and loads of ceramics in it, but those are the things that I always look for when I go to car boot sales, I can't really help it. Um, but I thought I had some really nice pieces to show you, so I thought that I would just sit down and film a few of these pieces and show you what I found. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these. I feel like they are quite a popular video on my channel, so just let me know. Let me know below if this is what you like to see on my channel and, and do give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribed and you're watching, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I know I'm still quite a way off 2000, but that's kind of like my next target and it would make me the happiest person if we could do that kind of this summer to get to 2000. I know that's probably quite a, a big ask, but please hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And I will no doubt see you very, very soon for probably a very similar video like this one. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.